Hey everybody, welcome to YCX TV. Today's show is sponsored by BibleMark TV. That's my other channel. Bible, go to BibleMark.com. Check out what I have there on that site. On that site, there are Bible bookmarks as well as beautiful Bible jewelry and accessories. These are from there. And each item has a spiritual, biblical type of name to it. And then when you go to this site, you'll see a story behind that biblical name. The purpose of um, the, the bookmark or the purpose of the jewelry. Um, my jewelry used to be at Chakra Shah Creations at Chakra Shah Studio, but I redid the entire line and I'm good. So go check me out. If you want to support me, rather than me just setting up donations, which I still could because these channels and um, these platforms really cost a lot of money to actually produce. There's music and sound production, there's video production, movie and film clips, edits and graphics and the whole nine, right? So it does take a lot to get all this out to you, so please support me. So anyway, so you can go there or you can go to Yoga Cosmetics and when you see the products, if you like them, you can buy them. That's another way to support me. That's probably the best way to go to Yoga Cosmetics, okay? So, today, we're going to talk about a couple of things. African American hair. It's always been a big thing. It's been just such drama. Um, there are social media platforms that they just get out of control with talking about things that they don't understand. And a lot of people talk a lot of things they don't understand. But you don't see them slamming. They don't slam Beyonce or they don't slam Janet Jackson when she has her braids in. It's just the way we do our hair. Um, we wear our natural hair out sometimes to get breathing and you let it grow. And um, sometimes girls have really, really long hair with the extensions. Their, their own hair is very long, but they still like it for style. Me, I'm a fashionista. I'm a FIT graduate. So for me, it's just fun, right? But while that's happening, you have to take care of your own. Like majorly take care of your own you can't like wear a bunch of weaves and they're not done right and they're pulling your hair out when they do it they put glue in or something and it's not working you don't want that girls you definitely don't want that no one should be bald in the front of their head because of hair weaves also no one should wear a weave and not wash their hair someone told me once they didn't wash their hair if you did put a weave in you are supposed to wash your hair now if someone puts your tracks in, put your, your cornrows in front to back, and then they put your tracks in side to side, well, you've created a box wig on top of your head. How can you wash that? So the application of your weave is being put in wrong. I actually do weaving. I've been doing my hair since I've been on stage. So for me, it's a Shaka Khan thing. I've been doing my hair since the 80s. So don't get it twisted. Okay, I'm an entertainer, so you're going to get entertainment. Um, <laughs> that's right, y'all. That's right, y'all. Deal with it. Handle it. Okay? <laughs> so, I've always taken care of my own hair. Always. Um, it's been very important to me. But I actually, two few years ago, came down with hyperthyroid disease like Wendy Williams has. And she'll tell you about Graves' disease. Because I had Graves' disease. Um, it comes from stress, my doctor said. This happened to me in 2009, when my, um, in, um, 2009 2010. Um, when my dad died in 2010, that's when it really happened. Where everything went haywire. And you are over the sink. And you're in tears. Because your hair is literally in the sink. So for those that have thyroid disease and that are wearing you know fashion hair until yours comes back I have processes and a brand new product that will also help your hair grow where today I'm going to show you my oatmeal chocolate knot so when we were kids mom said mix some mayonnaise in a bowl and 
Did you guys ever hear that? If you're black, you definitely heard that. Because there's eggs in the mayonnaise. Um, if you were a kid, you probably also heard, put some milk up in there. Put that in your hair. That actually worked too. The things that older people, way back in the day, way, way back. I'm talking way back. <laughs> um, told you, really worked. Because there's certain things that are in... Um, the natural products. I just um, did something that's better than an ultra sheen of an oil. I'm going to tell you about as well. So, so listen up. All right. So today we're going to talk about my category on my website called Yoga Hair. And so uh, the name of this product is Oatmeal Choco Milk. Okay. So now aromatherapy is something that uses essential oils and Bach flower waters and plants and things like that to make you feel better. And also not just to make you feel better, there are basically things that actually help you get balance within these, within these oils. Each oil does something specific. And I'm going to go through a class and talk about the compounds and formulas and what the oils actually do. So today I'm going to talk about the oils that are in this particular, right in this particular presentation. So what I want to show you is um, I have a product called Oatmeal Choco Milk. So take a look at this. It's an oatmeal shampoo recipe for African Americans, specifically because we need oils in our hair. Notice, oil, 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 oatmeal, oatmeal, coconut oil, apricot oil, Castile soap, rosemary essential oil, and ylang ylang. And we're going to get into what those oils do for you and um, how they help with your hair and your growth and things of that sort. There's even an oil in here that helps reverse the gray. So it's a shampoo for washing and conditioning together. You don't need a separate conditioner because there's so much in this product that's been mixed. As you can see on the right in this presentation, there's so much there that it covers washing and conditioning. Notice this organic eggnog in this product. Yes, there is. The same eggnog that you would drink. So since I am a certified aromatherapist, I know exactly what to put in to, make, to maintain the product. So within this custom blend, which I call Oatmeal Choco Nog, it has essential oils and organic grains. So know that I'm a NAHA member. I'm a member of the National Association of Holistic Aromatherapists. And um, that's one of the organi organizations that I'm a part of. And uh, I think I got to renew right now. But um, I've been a part of the organization since my class. So I am certified to do this work. So in an African-American household, you will hear the, quest the question, can you scratch my scalp? That is normal for black people to sit on the floor. Another person sits behind them. They part their hair and basically scratch the scalp. I now have um, a brush that does massaging for the head. So because I don't have anybody here <laughs> to uh, do my scalp for me. But you're going to try this. You can exfoliate with this product and you'll have natural, beautiful hair. So what I want to do is talk about what those things are that will really help you. And what I'm going to do is go to my blog. And here in my blog, what you'll see is um, the name of my blog is Yoga Cosmetics Beauty is God. Beauty is God Healing You. That's my slogan. For yoga cosmetics what i'm going to just do is scroll down the page notice it's an aromatherapy blog when you go to the site then the, the website is actually yoga cosmetics blog.com this is the blog itself where i go on and i write articles about whatever the latest products are that i'm doing you're welcome to comment just like on my youtube channel so as you can see that same presentations here but i talk about it so there's a paragraph here on whether we wear our hair out or wear it natural, whether we don't or do, whether it's curly or straight or blow-dried, 
crimped or corn weaved, at least we don't have to wash our hair every day. Now, you do have to wash your hair once a week. Stick to your once a week or once every 10 days because you don't want to have any problems with your head and you want to be clean. So, like I said, I knew a girl that said she didn't, she said, you wash your weave? Of course. When it's connected to your braids, my weave is not connected to my head. It's not connected to my hair, which is ripping people's hair out. My weave is connected to only the braids. So my scalp is available to scrub, wash with soap, scrub a dub dub like always. <laughs> and um, I keep my hair clean. So yes, I go, um, there are times I go two weeks, but that's the max if you're black, never go more than like 10 days. Um, and if you're braided, there's other techniques for washing that I talk about. Um, I make sure I leave my weave open talking about how that was done, how, um, you have to, like, I can touch my head and, and touch my scalp when my hair is done because I can part my hair in the scalp and actually feel, um, exactly what's happening. I can feel my head. I can, so if I have to scratch my head, I'm just going to close this a little bit here so you can see me as well. If I have to open and part my head and scratch my scalp or put oil in my scalp or put or when I'm washing it shampoo you better be able to touch your scalp so again back to the process of people weaving wrong never make a basket over someone's head so if the tracks again are straight front to the back then your hair weave has to go on the braid only front to back the actual track should never touch your skin it can't for me because i'm sensitive i would be like screaming somebody did that for me once i won't mention the hairdresser she did a famous a famous recording artist that was um in billboard um a famous famous rapper and out of philly and i had the i spent i think it was 350 dollars and i ripped that hair out after like three days why the edge of the track was touching my scalp because it was done wrong. It really was done wrong. Um, and the thread that she used was like a plastic-based coated weaving thread, which really hurt. I was like, oh my God, I can't take this anymore. I'm going to take it out. I just spent, I don't think, I spent more than 300 I think I spent 400 or more. Um, and I was so upset. The first lady that did my hair was from Africa, and I learned how to maintain my hair from this African lady, and no one has ever done my hair as good as I do my hair. So I don't, I don't go to salons other than doing, maybe them doing the braiding. There's one place near me, which is great, and, um... You know, Katie's, she does a great job with braiding and they do a great job with everything. I did a crochet, which really protects your hair because there's no thread, no glue. It's just crocheted braids, crocheted to your braids. That's like the best for your hair right now, honestly, because there's nothing that's going to tug at your hair. I mean, once it's clipped, those little pieces of hair just come right out. Um, fantastic job they did for me there. So, um, Katie's is great in Willingboro, just fantastic. Um, it's just, you know, great. I mean, it may still be called Burlington because I'm on the line of Burlington and Willingboro. I live in Burlington. So, um, so, so this is my article I wrote in the blog. And so basically I give people a chance to comment. Um, um, you know, and here's what I say about it not being open. I say here, I don't like those nets because you may as well be wearing a wig. I hate wigs. I really do hate wigs. I never liked them. But no, it's not the same. Anyone who says a weave is the same as a wig, it's not the same. It's a completely different thing. Um, one actually is, feels, one feels natural, especially when, since it's to your braid and you can't pull it out. The other, of course, as you know, you get into a fight with a woman, boy, she's pulling it out of your head. <laughs> you don't want to have one of those three fights where some girl, like, pulls your weave out of your hair. You're, like, going, oh, my God. I once fell and I had on a wig. I was like, oh, my God. And sometimes when I'm, when I'm taking care of my hair and doing all these processes with my own, I will wear 
a wig. I'm not telling you which one this is. <laughs> but I'll do that when I'm in the middle of doing my hair. Like taking care of my hair. Because I'm going through treatments. And I'm going through um, hot oil treatments. And things like that. All right. Um, just amazing. Now this is my bottle of oatmeal chocolate nog. This is. I've had this bottle a year. Like I'm trying to find a camera. A year. Right. And I shake it up. You can put it in, your, in the corner of your refrigerator if you want. And, um, it still smells amazing. Oh, my God. Um, since there is eggnog in it, I kept it in the refrigerator for a while. Um, I've, I've had this now in my bathroom counter for a couple of months. It still smells great, like, um, oatmeal and, oatmeal and, um, mmm, oatmeal, apricot, um, eggnog oh you can smell the eggnog oh my god and how that's maintained is my secret because i make real products so i have things that i put in the products to maintain uh to maintain them so that they are fine and have a, a shelf life um i've had this bottle a year and i have not used it up yet i have that much left in it you see the chocolate right um so i take and pour a little bit in the top Where's the camera right there? And I use that small amount. It makes that much suds. If you look, all I did was shake the bottle up and look at the suds on top of that. Is that amazing? I don't even know a shampoo in a store I could buy that would do that because they're so watered down. They're just not natural, you know, they're just not. So you know, so that is my oatmeal chocolate for African American hair. Um, let's talk about what it does for you, and we'll talk about the essential oils that are in it. Um, when I had the uh, when I had the um, Graves' disease, I had hyperthyroid. They said that thyroid disease is the rest of your life. No, it's not the rest of your life. Um, doctors will tell you that to keep you on meds. My thyroid disease went away. Yes, probably after about. A year I watched what I ate I, I I stayed balanced I did yoga I wasn't stressed um, I kept it together and um, my numbers went back to normal and stayed there since then it's now that was a, between 2009 and 2010 and 2012 I was sick um, I haven't had thyroid disease since it is 2018 so my hair is now starting to grow back. So, you know, it, it came out from the roots. So I had I had hardly nothing. Right? I kind of look like Halle Berry. And I used to look like Shaka Khan. So I imagine now trying to get everything back. So um, so now I can actually do a twist or a braid. And I'm, I'm now looking at the inches. But I've got a lot of products that I've designed that are helping with that growth. That I'll be telling you about along the way. Um... So, um, I had tried everything and I found everything wrong with my hair after the thyroid disease. I just lost everything. I, I remember going to the salon and crying like a baby saying, oh my God, my hair is gone. And when you're in this over the sink and you're, and, and, and a couple things happened when I had the thyroid Graves disease, how did you, I knew I was sick was I fell down a flight of stairs and that wasn't the first time I fell down a flight of stairs. I fell. That's another thing. I have another book I'm writing called Saved. How many times my life was saved by God? I fell down this flight of stairs a couple of times. Um, and I knew something was wrong. And then one morning I couldn't get out of bed. I got out of bed and fell to the floor. And I found out I had Graves' disease. And I had hyperthyroid. The kind where you can't eat anything because everything comes out of your body. Right? So that's good because I'm a chubby wubby girl. <laughs> I've always been a chubby girl, even in high school, so that doesn't bother me. Never bothered the boyfriends either. So, um, you know, just, um, I was sick. So my hair was falling out, I say in the article. Um, it was also overconditioned. Um, for five years I had a lot of stress, and notice I say Jesus cured me of my hyperthyroid. So it wasn't just relaxing. The power of the Holy Spirit cured me. So, any kind of problem you have, God will take care of it. I know people that have thyroid disease and they think it's for their life. 
and they treat it like it's their life. And they're getting medicine for the rest of their lives. And as the doctors keep checking their numbers, their numbers are not getting better. <laughs> their numbers are not getting better. Okay, their numbers are staying the same. And it's just what it is. So I didn't have enough hair to braid after it happened, I say. So you can read my whole story on the blog, right? Um, and I went into my aromatherapy lab and I made my first shampoo. This was my shampoo. Okay, it's called Oatmeal and Chaconog by Yoga Cosmetics. Um, it's amazing. It stopped, it lathers nicely. It stops hair break, breakage. It treats the scalp. Um, so, you know, we're going to talk about the aromatherapy oils. There's a science to using these oils, as you'll read in my article. Um, ylang ylang is one of the oils that are there, and it nourishes the follicles and grows your hair back. It also helps you get rid of stress and what helps with the breakage. The rosemary oil that's in it is is an and not only an antiseptic. So therefore, if you've been wearing weaves or something and you haven't been washing your hair, antiseptic of course is a germ killer. It'll kill any germs in your head, um, but it also gives you circulation. You'll feel it moving around in your scalp. It gives you circulation. Milk and eggs, like I said, my mom when I was a kid said, milk and eggs in your hair. And it absolutely worked. It worked then. My hair was really long when I was a little girl. I had like, um, they used to call me Shirley Temple. Because I had Shirley Temple curls when I was a little girl. I'll show you a picture one day. And uh, then I had two long little braids. You know, like Patty, whatever. Patty Duke or something. And um, it was it was cute. So, um, just know that, um, you know, there's a base of apricot oil and coconut oil. And I added a preservative as I can do because I'm legally certified to do so. And also, I, I have your shocking gray discovery. It also helps with grays. Okay, so these are the things that the product does. And, you know, I'm, I'm more than welcome to talk to you about it. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely possible to clear everything up that you're having a problem with. And, um, you know, it does what it does. So... I actually thank you for joining. And there's a, there's a link to Yoga Cosmetics Store also in the blog, which I just did a link to. And I have a Shopify site um, for the retail store. So when you're in the store, you can shop at Shopify online. But the main site is yogacosmeticsstore.com. The link is right here, okay? So this article I did in 2016... So I just wanted to show you the blog, which is really cool. All right. So let's now take a little look at the image slideshow very quickly. It's just like the blog, but you can see what well, we did show that. So I think you've seen enough of the blog. Know that, um, you know, you can actually go to taking a look at everything that I have, you know, to offer and Come to our Yoga Cosmetics site and shop. YogaCosmeticsStore.com We're on Facebook. You can actually purchase from my Facebook site if you go to Yoga Cosmetics. Yes. Um, you'll see some of the ads there. You'll see some conversations there. There's groups and links and photos and pictures of lots of products. So if you don't go to the website and you go to the Facebook, you can also buy from there. So I'm really excited about that. You know, it's just great. i um, just really happy about it. And I'm glad you could join me. Anytime you want to come back, we're going to start a chat pretty soon. We'll go Google Live or something. We'll go, we'll go live and get people in and get them thinking about, you know, the products and thinking about the oils and what the oils will do. You know, so let's just say it's possible. All things are possible with God. Look here at my social media sites. I'm on Pinterest. You can email me at yogacosmetics at AOL. That's cosmetics with an X. Again, I'm on Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter. And, of course, this is the YCX YouTube channel. Set up just so I can talk to you about a lot of my products that I have ready to go. Ready to... Ready to go. My catalog is coming out soon, everybody. I had an online catalog a couple years ago, but I'm doing um, 
an actual catalog like an Avon catalog I'm having printed up. So those that make their first purchase can get a book. It's a large book, so you keep that book. It's not like an Avon catalog that you throw away. It's not a small little magazine type. It's a real book, so almost for every year, there'll be a large amount of products in it. I think it's going to be 72 pages or so. So look out for my book. Once you make an order, you will get a book to keep with you. So that if you ever want to browse through it, buy something, you can. Alrighty, so I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much. And um, when you come in back into my chat pretty soon that I'm going to have, I will have... A live chat where we can kind of talk about it you can ask me questions about the oils and what the oils do and um, how you can work with my products um, that have spiritual healing as well okay thank you bye good to see you again I'll be here for the next few videos that I'm doing. I'm doing one on bath salts. I'm doing one on, I have an essential oil kit that has lots of oils that you take with you for the day. So that's going to be good too. And uh, I'm really excited about that. I really, really am. I mean, when you think about it, it's just completely amazing. Like all the different things that, you know, are available that you can have you know for your relaxation you know so i'm glad you could join me in this little pink spa that i had set up today and uh you know pink's my favorite color for anybody that knows me look at my microphone it's pink too <laughs> all right everybody thanks it was great so since this is like a blog and stuff we can just talk when you come back we can just talk so I'm trying to get the chat set up. That's my next level. It's coming. All right. Thank you.